Hi Dog Lover 101 here. So today I'm going to be opening up and reviewing Monster Ball Cleo Denial. And I'm just going to give you a quick look at her packaging. Same. Same as the other ones basically. Except Cleo's on the front and the back. Honestly, for the, this one, I'm surprised that they didn't give you a Cleo and Frankie 2 pack. Because if they're dating and it's like a ball, you know, they should they should do that. They should do a Frankie and Cleo 2 pack of them. I mean, personally, I like Cleo with Deuce. I don't know, I haven't watched the G3 cartoon. But yeah, I feel like they should make a two pack of them for G3. Also, apparently she has Polly here. I don't know if this one does. I don't know, I can't tell them apart the different hair fibers that well, except when it's really low grade Polly. Here's the picture. So you can tell all four of them are actually in this one. Cool. pile there. Okay. okay, this one's really pretty actually, this doll. You are gorgeous! But yeah, like for the ball line, you'd think that they would release Cleo with Frankie as a two-pack since they're dating now, but whatever. I just messed up her hair there. Okay. But apparently her first release in the G3 doll was high grade poly or whatever I heard. Let me know in the comments if you guys know. Okay, come on, cool. Why is she harder to get out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, as lucky enough, I'm pretty sure none of my dolls came that wonky. Because I remember how annoyed I was that my Sculpt and Secrets Cleo came wonky. Because that one was my favorite from the set. Anyway. Why did they make this so hard to open? So she's got a cupcake tower. And it's got like the little Egyptian tower thing going on. Purple and blue cupcakes. Cute. Just gonna put that to the side. Did you just see that fly? I wonder if I caught that on camera. Um, oh, I think this is for the cupcakes. The little tongs set. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying not to lose any of these. The compact actually came open, so I'm not going to struggle to open it to show you. But it has what looks like either like a lip gloss or maybe an eyeshadow. And it looks like the Egyptian tower. Whatever it's called. Also, 
I'm not sure. I want to get her first release of Haunt Couture, but I'm not sure if I want to get the Masquerade one. Because it wasn't really wowing me from the photos. So, she comes with this little crown. And it's got, like, the ears for probably one of the Egyptian gods or whatever. I don't know much about Egyptian culture, though. So, it's gold. It's got what is meant to look like beads by the looks of it on the top. Embroidered. Blue and red. Cute. And then she's got a little scepter with a snake. And it's gold and blue. And it's even got the little bits there where it looks textured. Which I love. And then she also comes with the eyeball purse, which, is that the Illumin Illuminati? I don't know. It's an eyeball. Pretty cool. Blue. Gold. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know much about that, sorry. Is her hair... Holly or Saran here? I want to say they all have Saran hair. So soft. Anyway, she has her hair in a high pony. They all like have their hairs in ponytails, but the goon is slightly different. Then she's got this little headpiece that's gold, meant to look like an Egyptian artifact. She's got really tanned skin. Her hair is blue and black and the gold tinsel. Love it. Oh my. She's gorgeous. Like, look at the makeup. Cleo is so extra. Okay, it might be a little wonky. Not, not too bad. Purple and gold. And the golden blue eyes. She's got the little Egyptian swirl at the bottom. Gold bubblegum pink lipstick with the little lip ring type thing painted on. She's got little Egyptian tower earrings. Gold. Then she's got the like molded on bandages. She's got a ring. Gold. Sorry, I don't know enough about Egyptian culture, so I'm just kind of going off by what I see. She's got this beautiful dress that's layered with tulle. It's like gold and black, which I love together. And then underneath it's got these cool Egyptian patterns, and it's so sparkly. I love it. It's blue and red, some orange, and this gorgeous belt right here. Oh, and then the necklace that's gold matching it. Then she has a snake for a bracelet. I love the snake bracelet. Oh my. There's just so much going on here. It's hard to pinpoint one thing to talk about. But I like how flowy the tool is. Like, it feels really nice. I like this fabric. It doesn't feel really cheap like a lot of them do. And then she's got molded on leg. And oh my goodness, the shoes. I want to say this is the Illuminati. But look at the shoes. It's got a little eyeball to match the purse. It's, it's blue and gold. And then it's got little snakes. For the back. Oh my. And it looks like gold bricks. See that? Like, there is a lot going on. So I'm gonna give this ghoul her crown. Because, of course, who else is gonna be prom queen? <laughs> okay. gonna mess up her hair though if I put that on. Probably. Okay. 
Okay, it goes on her thumb. If I can get it on. I can't get it to stay, but anyway. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take the crown off because, I mean, I don't know, I think it's a bit much with the crown. I think it looks better without. Anyway, that is it for my review on this costume ball clear denial. Please like with a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you want to see more of my weirdness and more of my getting off topic on videos.